What up boys and welcome back to another video. So as always, every single Monday we'll go through my mailbox on my main realm on the transmute tune and we see just how much gold we've made. And it's definitely a big change since late in, uh, in terms of transmog. A lot of people are claiming that transmog doesn't sell and I, I don't think that's true. I think I still make uh, roughly the same amount of uh, golds on Transmog right now as I did in Legion. And I would make even more. But that's because I also spend more time on it and less on materials. But then again, I also spend less time on the auction house doing undercuts and repos. So I could have made more than I made in Legion if I only spent more time doing that. But like 300 auctions sold... Doesn't necessarily mean that I've made a lot of gold. It can be a lot of shitty auctions like this. 82 gold, 94, 67. Like it, you don't automatically make a lot of gold because you have a lot of sales. But it all adds up to a decent amount. So we can see that the first 50 auctions is 146,000 gold. Uh, we're only going to go through the items that are worth mentioning. Like saltstone gauntlet, saltstone gear is always good. And you farm it in thousand needles in uh, by killing the den wampers, the saltstone cave. Solely crafted sulfur and hammer, 53,000 gold on a bid, actually. That's kind of strange. Not that many people do bids. Some crafted items. Witch Fury is a random classic BOE item. 80,000 gold in the Black Duskwood staff. Another world drop. And that's pretty much it. Out of interest, that, that's it. So uh, if you guys aren't really getting that many sales and you're afraid that you're posting a lot of shitty items in the auction house, I mean... In my experience, it's better to post more items than being like really, really picky on the items they post in the auction house in the start. Like if you're building up your auction house, because simply because of motivation, like it doesn't matter if you sell an item for 150 gold, 1500 gold, as long as you're seeing sales and seeing progress, uh, it kind of motivates you because if you're really uh, selective and picky about the items that you're going to throw up in the auction house, um, you're not going to get as many sales and it. it's not that motivating if you're just starting out. So in this next one, only low value. Another saltstone gauntlet's 21k this time. And these uh, wad crafted shoulders, 13k. 87,000 gold in Hands of Eternal Light. I think this is the second pair I've sold in like a year. So they don't sell fast, but it's a lot of gold though. 87,000 gold for those gloves, and that means that we're up by like 300,000 gold after uh, 100 auctions, and my goal is, as always, to uh, make roughly 500,000 gold in a week's clean out from Transmogs, like 2 million gold a month is uh, what I'm aiming for, I think that's fair enough, a fair enough number for the amount of time that I spend weekly on farming and posting on the auction house. So as long as I'm getting 500k a week, I'm super happy. I also keep in mind that I have uh, separate banks like for materials and battle pets and so on. And I tend to make more gold on those because I have a lot of shit that I've stockpiled at the end of Legion. And whenever I do material farms, I sell it on that tune and I always wait. Like I'm not in a hurry. So I just wait until the materials are really at their peak and then I sell it off. And if it doesn't sell and someone undercuts it right down, I'll just wait it out. So, a lot of crafted vicious and uh, crafted uh, glad gear sold in this one. Some nether weave, twenty one k snow lily breeches, leather working item crafted. These leggings as well, staff of divine infusion, leather working out like the style and hats though. I used to sell the style and hats for uh, anywhere between fifteen to like twenty five thousand gold roughly each. Now I get like. Five six thousand gold each item. So I fully understand the people who claim they make less gold on transmog. Like if you're gonna, if, let's say you're doing crafting, for instance, I'm pretty sure they all sell the same amount of items, but they just sell it for way less gold. Kind of compensates on most realms because materials are also cheaper. So if you're buying the materials, the profits should be uh, at least on my realm somewhat the same. But it's a big difference selling a fell steel long blade for 25,000 gold when I used to sell them for like 95,000 gold in Legion. So it makes sense. It's only 69,000 gold on these 50 auctions. Silver Tread Armor, World Drop. I think I got that one in, uh, what's it? Shadow Fan Keep? I don't really remember. I had like 2,500 transport items up in the auction house at all times. Some of them take months to sell. But most items will sell in the end. We have exactly 100 auctions left. 
and we're super close to the 500,000 gold. So uh, it's going to be a good week. And last week was really good too. I think it was 750,000 gold or something last week. So definitely not making less on Transmog uh, weekly now compared to Legion. But as I said, in Legion, I actually got fewer sales because I didn't have that much focus on it. But I sold the auctions for more gold. Another leatherworking crafted item, 44,000. Another hammer actually. But then again, this hammer used to sell for twice the price back in Legion. So 100,000 gold though. Most of them, the materials for the expensive transmog are farmed by myself though. So most primals and uh, primal mites and volatiles and uh, dark iron bars, blood of the mountain, like all those expensive materials, arcanite crystals, like I usually farm all of those myself. Or I wait until I see a real good bargain on uh, the auction house. If I see, uh, let's say, Arcanite, uh, Arcanite bars selling for extremely low, like a really good snatch, I don't mind buying 200 out right there, right then. Last 50 auctions is some of the worst I've seen. 34,000 gold only. And there's that lo a lot of bags, Frostweed bags and uh, Embers look bags. Wow, that's bad. That is bad. But overall, it was a good week though, like 600,000 gold, uh, 600,000 gold this week. Now that's something, it really is, can't complain on that one. But that was pretty much it for today's video. If you guys got any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments section. Didn't have time to do any uh, replies, so I'm going to reply to the comments on the last video for those asking questions. But in next week, I will drag the questions up on the screen and I will answer the ones that are the most popular ones. So let me know in the comment section down below if you got any questions whatsoever and I'll do my best to answer every single one of them. But until then, bye bye boys.